Gabriel Felipe has been a waste picker for 24 years, starting when he was 10 years old. About a decade ago, he built this cart, which has been pulling around the city ever since. Recyclables are his main source of income, just as it is for hundreds of thousands of waste pickers across Brazil. We cannot rely only on the big loads of material on the construction sites. We have to pick everything up. I pick up even small bottle caps that I find on the streets. And this is important because these small things have such a big environmental impact. Small caps end up on the river, in the water reservoir, and kill all the fish. Now technology is helping waste pickers like Gabriel to make more money. For example, if the owner of Café Firu in São Paulo has recyclable waste, there's an app called Cataqui to help him find registered waste pickers, the Catadores. The app provides information on the kinds of materials for recycling and contact info for nearby Catadores. Rafael Cardoni called Gabriel to collect cartons and aluminum cans at his café. Gabriel also picks up materials that he can't sell, but charges a fee to collect and properly dispose of them. This app is great. Since my cafe is right on the street, I have direct contact with waste pickers and don't need it every time. But quite a few of my neighbors ask me how they can find a waste picker and tell them to use the app. The poverty is one important reason behind the large number of scavengers here in Brazil. But over time, these independent pickers have become key elements in the country's waste management particularly in big cities like São Paulo. The Catadores app was conceived by street artist and activist Mundano, who was already well known in Brazil for his Pimp My Carroça, Pimp My Cart project, in which he renovates and paints his art on the wagons of waste pickers. While brands and governments talk about sustainability, waste pickers are doing something about it in practice. The independent pickers nowadays are responsible for 90% of everything that is recycled in Brazil. 90% of the recycled materials pass in their hands. So without the help of the pickers, there is no way to ensure recycling, to implement reverse logistics, and to reduce the flood of plastic in the world. After filling his cart, Gabriel has to take the material to a middleman who sends it to a recycler. This load was worth less than two dollars, but as Mundano and many others acknowledge, the value of Brazil's catadores in protecting the environment is beyond measure. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.